Hello, and welcome to Tiny Toons Tuesday, the musical subsidiary of your favorite podcast, Raw Impressions. Raw Impressions Podcast, live from Amsterdam, Netherlands, and <laughs> Greenfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, Western Mass ass. <laughs> <laughs> Western ass. This and ass is solidly in Western Mass. Oh God! Look at my. Holy Oof. shit! Whoa! Wow! That's wow! Right. Mm. So there's some meaty sweat stains. Mm. Wow! Oh my! Do you All have you deodorant view- out there? <laughs> viewers at home, check Whoa. that out. Oh Ooh. my! Wow! Yep. I'm on I'm on tour. I've been wearing the same T-shirt. Well, this one I've only been wearing this one for two days. Wow! I'm sweating. Yeah. It. I'm sweating. Ooh. Is it warm there? Not really. Hmm. Not really. Hmm. I was learning a song for the podcast. Oh, so you were can, sweating and working. So it kind of makes me sweat a little bit. I get a little nervous. I know. I'm wearing a black t-shirt, so you can't probably see my, my sweat stains. But And I'm also wearing my, my natural deodorant today since it's just a home day, you know. So I I tend to go au naturel with the deodorant versus the antiperspirant. That's that's reserved for more like social events and flights. Yeah, yeah that's, you know, you might as well just not wear the aluminum, not seal your pits with aluminum every time. That's, I, yeah, I'm trying to strike a balance. That's right. Yeah, you know, balance, that's a hot word, right? I'm always trying to find balance. So hot. So hot. Oh, yeah, let's balance, baby, you and me. <laughs> so <laughs> Let's I'm, find I'm, our balance. I'm here with the oldest child. She is here. She calls Amsterdam Dampster Cram. We took a boat ride. The first thing we did when we landed in Amsterdam, uh, when we got to the hotel, we went right across the street and hopped on a big boat. We went through the canals, uh, mm. and her 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 impression was it was Damsterkram because it's damp. Mm. Can I tell it's damp, and the buildings are all crammed together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She loved Damster it. Damsterkram. She had the her first uh, impression. Her first raw impression was. I want to live here, which was my impression. When I came here, when I came to Holland for the first time, I was like, can I just, uh, can I just live here? Yeah, just take me. Can I just stay here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I completely get it, and I love that she had that reaction so much. I. It really is a testament to how, I think, warm and welcoming it feels there. You don't feel like... I don't belong or I can't be here. You immediately are like, I could, I could figure this out and I could, I could do this. And it doesn't feel too chaotic to me. I'll say that. Um, I remember when we were, we've traveled a lot together in Europe and some places are just too chaotic for me where I feel like, uh, uh, uh. and Amsterdam can be really busy because there are, like literally hundreds and hundreds of people on bicycles, like flying past you. But it felt like that made sense. It didn't feel like not orderly. You know, it felt like that's right. If you understand that they rule the road, and this is actually a really positive thing to be having people (laughs) primarily traveling by bike versus by cars, which, you know, blow their shit out their asses. Um, you can figure it out, right? And move around and get to see just what a lovely place it is. Yeah. Everyone follows the rules. They follow the lights. Yeah, they're not jaywalking. They're not walking out. They're all kind of following the lights. Green man, red man, green bicycle, red bicycle. You know, they follow the, they follow the lights. So if you follow the rules, you'll be okay. Just follow the rules. I have to ask you, um, when you first came to Amsterdam, you said you were, you told me earlier that you were 22 and you were on tour with Dinosaur Jr. And it was your first time to Amsterdam, right? 
Oh yeah, first time. Yeah. First time out of the country. First, second time on an airplane. Wow. Out here. What was your impression mm-hmm. then? It was what was it like? And you're frozen, and you look like you're praying. Hmm. Oh, you were frozen. You were frozen you okay? too. I am okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I asked you what your impression was of Amsterdam when you were 22. Well, we were. I was very impressed that you could get marijuana here, or hashish. I was impressed that uh, there were like porn theaters everywhere, like little places where they showed porn. Um, <laughs> crazy, crazy porn, by the way. Not really like porn, like not... Like, just weird, weird stuff. <laughs> weird, weird. Oh, we boy. Actually, as a band, as a band, as the three of us and our, our travel mate, Jens, we all, we went to, like, an adult place, and we sat in a strange room, <laughs> sat on a bench, and watched. <sighs> we watched unspeakable things, and not sexy. Not sexy. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. You weren't mm-hmm. like, oh, give me a year pass. You were Animals. like, nah, I'm Just good. That way. Ooh, you're, you're Just f- let me say that and then okay. move on. Wait, wait, you mm-hmm. froze you froze again. So what did you just say? <laughs> you said you said it was not sexy. Did you I say said, something after that? I said animals. Oh, okay. And um Okay. Feces. <gasps> okay. Oh my wrong. god. Whoa. Dude, that It's a band oh. bonding experience. It was a ba- <laughs> Have you have you touched base with Merv and Jay about that? Hey guys, remember when we were twenty two and we uh We all went to a <laughs> yeah. that was- have, Has that <laughs> haunted you as long as it's haunted me? <laughs> Have you, have, you, have you worked that out in therapy yet? <laughs> Are we okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, a, it was, um... <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is that what you said when you walked out? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, we were okay. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> Yeah, you were like, okay, did we... Oh, that's sort of like, yeah... <laughs> I don't even know what that's like. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Well, we never, well, we never, we never did it again. I bet. <laughs> together. Anyway, you know. okay, sure, sure. You know. Oh my gosh, you guys didn't like uh, break it down afterward with Jens and go like, "What did you think of that part?" Or no, no. I think we, w- I think we went to the red light district. We kind of cruised that a little bit, mm-hmm. just to see. <laughs> You know, just, just to see. We, we went to Hamburg in the same tour, I believe. Oh, my God. And then also, it was pretty hardcore. What? It was hardcore? <laughs> yes, Han- Hamburg. The Reaper Bond was also hardcore. Uh-huh. But the, 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 the fascinating thing about it was that it was all just kind of normal there. It was like, yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Like, it's that's what you so, want. There it is. I, I that's love... That's really what you want. I love that, though, about Europe, is that as an American... Um, I love that shock. I love that shaking up of our puritanical snow globe that we may or may not even know we live in. You know, we're like, I'm cool. I am so liberal and wild. And then you get to Europe and you're like, oh, oh, okay. I mean, I am. I'm open minded and I'm <laughs> liberal. But these people are like way more honestly chill about so many things. And, uh, Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I, I think that it's, I'm not saying that it's like, it's wild and chaotic. That's not what I'm saying. It's just they, they are not burdened by <laughs> this puritanical life, right? That we actually was like the root of whatever. We all know you're Americans and the foreigners who are listening are just laughing and going like, you. Like, yeah. My, my, my ancestors were the prudence. I know. And right. It was, a, it was a priest. 
he got a bunch of people in a boat and they went to they left England and went to America in the early 1600s. And their last name was Pruden. Pruden. Prude. I know. Now, last week, yes. I mentioned uh, that I wanted to write a song called Dick About It. Yes, you very passionately shared that. Yeah. Well, it turns out mm-hmm. <laughs> there's already a song called You Don't Have to Be a Dick About It. And I've heard it, and I heard it mm-hmm. back in 1989 or so. And I heard it mm-hmm. once, and it burned itself in my memory, and apparently it just sank so deep in my memory that I somehow made it my own, somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I realized it was uh, recorded by a band called Masters of the Obvious, Modo. And um, they actually great from Massachusetts, band name. yeah, Masters of the Obvious. And um, I really got to set something right quickly. I, think, <laughs> I fear, okay, because they're kind of a real, uh, they're a punk band. Uh huh. Kind of a raw, raw lyrics. They have a lot of raw lyrics. And the leader of the band currently resides in New Hampshire. Oh. And. Um, I feel like I got to put this right, get it out of the way, and play a cover of the song. And interestingly, it kind of fits in with what we're talking about. <laughs> this is the, this is, <laughs> this is this the is actual the, dick about it. This is the actual dick about it. Okay. So I'm, a, I'm excited. Dick. Great. Yeah. You don't have to be a dick about it, dick about it, dick about it. You don't have to be a dick about it, dick about it, dick about it. A laxative addict like yourself can get at the point from no one else. A hobo priest and a pervo. Can't suck the sewage like you can And you don't have to be a dick about it Dick about it, dick about it You don't have to be a dick about it Dick about it, dick about it I wanna scrape you off my shoe I wanna flush you down the toilet bowl you're so sure you're Mr. Brain, Mr. Brain I wanna dump you like a load, recommode You don't have to be a dick about it, dick about it, dick about it You don't have to be a dick about it, dick about it, dick about it Oh, 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 oh. Look at those dick hands all around You're just another in the crowd Go home and cry, that's if you can Oh baby, I'm your biggest fan But you don't have to be a dick about it Dick about it, dick about it You don't have to be a dick about it, dick about it, dick about it. You don't have to be a dick. Raw impression. 